I'm realizing my boyfriend of eight years isn't the man I thought he'd become, and now I'm terrified that breaking up with him will destroy him, especially since we've been talking about marriage and moving in together. Wow. Okay, where to begin? My boyfriend, 23 male, and I, 22 female, have been dating for eight years. We met in high school, and have been together ever since. We've grown and changed with each other miraculously, and our relationship has been amazing. We were always communicative to each other, always doted on one another, have inside jokes that are years long, and have become so comfortable with who we are as a couple. Our relationship by all means is a wonderful one. But, I guess I wouldn't be posting here if it was so wonderful, would I? As we've entered into adulthood, I started asking the bigger questions that I realized I wasn't really getting answers on. He's been against having kids, but I want kids. My biggest advice I received was to wait for his real answer when we were older because I asked these questions after dating for four years. I asked him what he wanted to do with his future, where he saw himself career-wise and what he was feeling about who he was as a person. If he was changing and growing. To be honest, whenever we speak about these things I always feel like. It gets really quiet, he becomes shorter with his words. A lot of I don't knows. After asking questions many times, I get some answers once he's thought about it. But this scenario has always been regular for us. I'm asking bigger questions, trying to get feedback, and he gives little answers and asks to think about them. But we have always moved along. Next day, next season. We're really happy with each other. We cuddle and watch Netflix TV shows, go to the ice rink, have romantic dinners and tell each other how much we adore one another. But those questions start to bother me. Why doesn't he want to answer them? Why doesn't he ask those about me? Is it necessarily bad that he doesn't want to ask? I mean, we're only in our 20s. But, we've been dating for 8 years. The toss and turn was agonizing. I felt like I was waiting for an answer for a question I asked years ago, regardless of the timeline. I felt more and more pressure to have them answered. Because as of lately we've been talking about marriage. When I would forget that those questions were so important to me, everything was hunky-dory. We'd talk about where we would live, the animals we would have and what we would name them, the kinds of TV shows we'd watch on a weekly basis. I pushed the issues I had been feeling in my core back inside, because I figured if I'm a patient girlfriend, a loving one, a supportive one, then our relationship will get better. How long we've stayed together is a testament to our ability to grow together. We've done it this long, why wouldn't it continue happening? But it hasn't. It really hasn't guys. This last weekend something snapped. We were looking for places to live. We had three appointments. I was looking around the apartment, looking at the kitchen, and looking at our bedroom. When we kissed each other goodbye after a post-appointment cuddle nap, and I went back home, I just burst out crying in the car. I was sobbing so hard. When I got home I called my mom, she came over, I felt so broken in that moment. Like something died, like straight up died. I don't know what's going on. I think I need to break up with him. I don't think this is the kind of change that I can ask of him. I don't think asking him to change is fair. It's not that I haven't been patient, I have. He has been giving me his answer to all my questions, I just haven't been happy with what they are and was hoping they would change. The silence, the skirting around the topic, the I don't knows. I thought we could grow through any scenario, but moving in together put it all into perspective for me. I'm not ready to move in with this guy. Earlier in the year, he told me he was all right with kids, with having them too. After that conversation, such a huge flood of relief hit me that I think spurred the season of ignorance. He answered my biggest, big question, so I was happy. But the reality is setting in. Does he actually mean that? Did he say that to appease my asking? He has told me that I'm the best thing to happen to him, that he loves me and that I inspire him to be a better person, and that he's happy he's with me because he wouldn't know how to date anyone else at this point since we've been together for so long. I wish he had the motivation and drive in some kind of goal for himself. I wish he thought about his future. I wish he was more excited about life, more positive about life. I wish he wasn't so angry at people and himself. I wish he approached his problems readily and openly. I wish he was more emotionally available. I wish I knew how to do this without destroying him, because I think it will. His family would all turn on him, I know it. We've been talking about marriage. We're looking at places to live together. And I just imploded. I couldn't take it anymore. My gut is seriously telling me I need to do this, and it's never been wrong. But how? How on earth do I do this? Edit, thank you everyone, so much, for your comments. All of them, I've read every one. I think after the initial hysteria and realization of what I was feeling, and putting it into written words, I've come to realize what I'm truly feeling. I'll post an update after this weekend when I talk with him, I'll tell you how it goes. Update one week later, so, the big conversation happened on Friday, a day earlier than what I was expecting. After writing this post and speaking to trusted family and friends, I decided I didn't want to wake up like I had all week, feeling like crap anymore. I'd open my eyes and just immediately feel that familiar pain in my chest. I wanted it to be over. He had been texting me normally in the week so I knew he wasn't expecting this. It made it so much harder. That part wasn't easy, texting him back very plainly to avoid lying or leading him on. But I asked him if he'd like to meet on Friday and he said he'd love to, so I went over in the morning after running a few errands with my brother. 
he drove what he called a getaway car and said he'd pick me up when it was over. It was so hard. His family was decorating the house for fall. As soon as I got there, his mother asked me to help drape some fake leaves across the front porch. I stood there with my heart in my throat, helping her out. As soon as I found a window, I walked into the house and found him in the kitchen. He was still in his pajamas. I asked if we could talk in his room, and he said sure. He wrapped me in a hug and rubbed my back, and it took everything not to cry right then and there. We walked up the stairs to his room, I closed the door, and gave him one last, huge hug in the privacy of his room. I took a breath and then asked if we could sit down. I sat crisscross and began. I told him that I had been in so much pain since we came back after looking at places to live together. I told him that I didn't think we should live together. I told him that was because I didn't think we should be together. I told him it wasn't his fault, that this wasn't because he had something wrong. I told him I felt like there was something wrong with our relationship, and that I knew moving in together wasn't the right choice for us and ultimately, committing to each other like that wasn't the right choice for me. I told him that I wasn't able to commit to him in that way, when the choice came. I told him that it wasn't a smooth transition, that this decision came all at me at once like a freight train. I told him that I was sorry. He asked me why I was doing this. He looked absolutely shocked. He told me he thought everything was perfect and that he didn't understand why I was saying this. He asked me where we should go from here. I told him I wanted to talk this out, since we've been together for so long. I told him I wasn't going to waver in my decision because I felt like it was the right choice to make, but I wanted to talk it out. Instead, he went to his dresser, got out of his pajamas, got into a change of clothes, grabbed his backpack, and left. His mother asked him for more decorating help but as far as I knew he walked by her. I sat there in shock, I guess. Before he left he said, see you Saturday because our friends were having a get together. I could feel the hysteria come on. It was like a tidal wave. The reality of what I had just done. It was like every elegant, composed, logical reason I had for breaking up went right out the window. Every graceful approach I was going to take this conversation and just blanked on me. I was simply honest and raw. And now I felt like the crappiest person I'd ever known. I got my shoes on and flew down the stairs. His mother was asking me for more help but in the first time in years, I ignored her and ran out the front door. I was walking away from his house. After I had reached the street, she came outside. I could hear her steps behind me. She called out my name with the same urgency that you call out to someone as if they forgot something in the house. I didn't turn around. She called out my name again, louder, and I rounded the corner towards the rest of the neighborhood. I then called my brother and asked him to pick me up. He was there in two seconds. The car was still moving as I opened the door and slid inside, and I was out of there. That was by far the hardest thing I've ever done. I was sobbing. My brother held my hand. It was loud, heartbreaking sobbing. I can't believe I had ended an eight-year relationship but I did. I went home and my family was all there. They all comforted me through it and told me their breakup stories of their first loves. That was Friday. Today, Monday, I have to say. It was absolutely the correct decision for me to make. After the initial tears, hysteria and destruction, I realized I had needed to make that decision for a long time. I feel fuller in a way, if that makes sense. And I'm excited for what's to come for me. Thank you all for your words of wisdom, your insights and your support. I really appreciated all of your comments and I read them a few times a day to give me strength in my down moments. I've gotten to the other side of this and I appreciate all of your input.